Hey guys, in this video we'll be going over how to output to a text file, outputting a text file in command prompt, as well as opening files with their uh, corresponding software. Okay, so last video we went over ch uh, changing directories as well as the DIR and um, using the wildcard to find certain types of files, uh, as well as uh, finding a specific file. So this video will be mainly about uh, outputting. Okay, so first let's, uh, let's just check out what text files I have located within this directory. Okay, so I have a, a dir.txt, file.txt, hello.txt. So a couple of different ones. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, how to output the, uh, the results of a command into a text file. So I have, uh, if I type in dir, this command will print out all the uh, files that are located within this directory. So if I want to output these results into a text file, I can do so with the command of dir, then you use this uh, greater than sign, and then you type in uh, the name of the file, text file you'd like to create. So I already have a dir.txt, so I'm going to create a dir2.txt. So essentially what this is doing is it's taking all the output from dir and it's, um, it's creating a new text file and saving the output onto this text file. After this, then we should have a text file, a dir.2, a text file located within this directory. So if I check um, on the text file located within this directory, as you can see, I have a dir.txt. Now, if you want to see um, the uh, contents of a text file from the command prompt, you can use uh, the command type. So in this case, uh, if you want to see the contents of dir.txt, you can use type um, dir.txt, and this will display the output of that text file. So as you can see, it's um, outputting type dir.txt. It's, it's outputting the uh, contents of this text file. So if you want to see something like, I also had hello text. So if you want to see the output of this text file within this, uh, the command window, typing hello.txt, by, by using type hello.txt, we get uh, the output hello there. So earlier we were discussing uh, outputting a text file into the command window. We did so by uh, type, uh, using the command type and then hello.txt. Uh, if you use type and hello.txt, it will uh, output the uh, contents of the text file onto the uh, command prompt. Now, if you wanted to add something um, to this uh, hello.txt, um, so you want to add, if you wanted to add an extra line, um, what you have to do is you have to use the command echo. So with the command echo, what you can do is um, you can type what you want to add into the uh, hello.txt or whatever text file you, you want to add on to. So in this case, okay, so we'll add how are you. And then um, to output this onto a text file, you can't just use one greater than, you have to use two greater than sign. And I'll explain why in a little bit. So echo how are you is the, echo is the command, how are you is a string, and the, uh, the double greater than sign is the output signal. And now we're going to insert the, the name of the text, uh, hello.txt. So I'm just gonna press enter now. And so what should have happened is, um, how are you should have been added um, to the hello.txt file. We're going to open up the text file by type hello.txt. So type hello.txt is going to open up the text file. And um, as you can see, hello there, how are you? So how are you has been added on to the uh, hello.txt. So that's what the, the echo command does. It uh, outputs a, a string. If you use one greater than sign, so I'm going to show you what happens if you use one greater than sign. So echo, I'm fine. And if you use one greater than sign, what it does is actually overwrites uh, the whole text file. So it overwrites the whole text file, so you actually lose the, the, the previous contents. So if we type hello.txt now, as you can see, everything from uh, uh, the previous contents has been overwritten. So hello there, how are you? are all gone. It's only I'm fine. Okay, um, the next thing we can do is uh, you can output the contents of a a text file onto another text file. So you're essentially just copying one text file. Uh, I'm going to actually look through my, um, look into my directories and see what text files I have. Okay, so I have this uh, small, small bio dictionary text, which I'm going to copy. Um, it's hard to see, but okay. And now I'm going to type, um, sorry. 
So I'm going to type and I'm going to print out all the contents of the small bio dictionary text. So as you can see, it's, it's a lot of uh, information that's being uh, outputted. So what we want to do now, we, what we can do is um, we actually take all this uh, outputted stuff and create a new text file. So like I said before, you're essentially just copying one text file. So we're going to type and then uh, actually we can just use the command we used before, which is type small bio dictionary text and we'll output that to new text uh, .txt. So new text .txt should contain all the contents of small bio dictionary text. Okay, so now if we type new text .txt, it displays the content, the newly the copied content. Besides um, outputting everything onto the command line, you can actually open the notepad from the command line. The way to do that is you just uh, type in notepad and you type in the uh, text file you want to open. So in this case, uh, we'll open up new text txt. So notepad, by typing in notepad, uh, the command notepad, you're actually essentially just gonna open up notepad. The, the parameter new text txt is just opening up the file, uh, the new text txt. So as you can see, just by typing in notepad um, in the command prompt, you can you can use a notepad to open up text files. Okay. However, um, if notepad is your default uh, text viewer, the default uh, software to open your text files, then you don't actually have to type in um, the command notepad. If you just type in new text.txt, you press enter, this also opens up notepad and it opens up your text file. So whatever is your default uh, text uh, viewer, text uh, text file opener, will automatically open text file. Uh, generally speaking, it's going to open up uh, any text file you input into this uh, command line. So for example, um, let's look at images I have. So if I put, if I type in dir image files that are located within this directory, and say I wanted to open, um, let's see, dot png. So this is going to, um, I'm typing in the image file, the name, uh, the file name of the image. So What's going to happen is the default uh, image viewer that I have set as the default image viewer software is going to be used to open this uh, exel.png. So as you can see, my default image viewer has opened up this exel file. Besides that, you can open up, you can start various different programs from the command line. A lot of them already have what's called a, a path. They're located in a path variable by default. So when Windows gets shipped, you'll have a lot of these, um, like uh, MS Paint, which you can open, uh, the calculator. So these are just the uh, the EXE file names that I'm, I'm typing in. And most of them can be found in, uh, I think it's your Win32 folder, where it's located within your Windows uh, folder in the C directory. So you can actually add, um, you can customize which programs you want to open through your command prompt uh, just by typing in uh, the exe file. So that's how Python is actually, um, Python does the same. You just type in Python and it opens up Python within your command prompt. Um, so these are all done through uh, adding a path in your path variable, which I think I might go over later on. Yeah, so I think that's it for uh, opening files and just outputting files. I will see you guys next time.